and boom who is she hmm right beauty is back hello and welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome it's your girl right beauty if you've been here you know i've taken just a wee little bit of a break let's talk about it there's going to be a few things that will be different going forth number one if you've noticed um my hair is really short now okay your girl got a much needed cut and i must say i am obsessed with my new haircut i will be changing my posting days dun, da, da, da. your girl is changing her posting days because your girl's schedule has changed and that does not work for me no more so we're changing our days now our new posting days are going to be saturdays uh, so without further ado, let's actually get into the video because I've been babbling on for quite a while now. And I'm pretty sure you want to see the look that's about to go down, or should I say down. So we're going to go ahead with this guy right over here. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So for today's look, we're going to be going with the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. I'm in shade three. We're gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge and or a beauty blender or one on one. I'm just kind of blend away. Now in today's video, I'm gonna try to keep things trending with the whole thing of the world that's going on right now we need to wear masks and obviously that covers like 80 percent of our makeup like yeah girl we're only gonna see your eyes and forehead and eyebrows i could make a whole masterpiece and snatch these cheeks to the gods but no one's gonna see that because i'm wearing a mask so i mean there's that but basically like now the trend is to do like a nice light concealer or a nice light foundation like a like a tinted moisturizer like a natural type vibe so i'm not gonna go for my usual full cake today i think this is gonna be good because it's like a nice light coverage it just looks like my skin but like you know how i'm having like a really good skin day like it's kind of one of those vibes um anyway so i'm not really a fan of that trend that's going around that you only put concealer like here and here to like lift your face because i'm not saying that it's wrong but like not everybody has the same friggin' face okay like not everyone has the same face so i'm gonna put my concealer here I look nuts. Oh, by the way, I'm using this one. This is Super Stay Concealer. Just to really brighten my eye. And then whatever's left on my sponge, I'm just gonna kind of carry on to the rest of my eye area. So anyways, I need to set everything because um, I'm gonna crease my eyes crease. That's just the way of life. So my favorite maybelline fit me loose powder and i'm going to be going in with the famous brush that i use in every single video and if you don't have it then you need it i don't have a link but just just buy it i promise you you're gonna love it okay not sponsored lexi if you're seeing this video sponsor me okay anyways as i was saying <laughs> This is the Lexi Precision Foundation Brush, number 660. I don't go by the numbers, I just go by what it does. Anyways, put a little bit there. 
and then I just gotta make sure there is no creasing before I go ahead and set this so we're gonna do the eyes now which is why you clicked on the video or it might be the second reason I don't know the first reason may very well be because you miss me and you want to see me and you want to do your makeup together and you want to hang out and that's fantastic but if it's not the reason then I guess it's because you wanted to see the spoon eye hack cut crease half half cut crease foxy trend I don't even know what to call it so I'm sure you've seen it. It's been all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over everything. And we're gonna try the spoon trend. We gonna do it, baby. We gonna do it. We're gonna use a spoon to do our makeup. Okay, so I decided, okay, so I really wanted to do like a muted pink, but then my best friend was like, you should do orange. And I was like, mmm. Should I do pink and orange? I think I'm gonna do pink and orange. I think that's what we're gonna do. So, I got two palettes here. I'm gonna kind of jump between the two, but I'm gonna be in the loop when I do. First palette we have is one of my favorites. You guys have seen me use it one million times. Like, so many times, okay? The Scarlet Dust Palette by Ace Beauté. Beautiful shades. Fantastic formula. You really need this. Like, it's. I use it all the time. I mean, I, I think you guys are tired of seeing me using this palette at this time, but it, it just it works so good. <laughs> We're going to be going in with the Lotus shade right over here, and then a little bit of... And then a little bit of the Pink Moon, and possibly this guy right up here. But we don't know yet. We're going to fade out when we actually do it. I'm going to start with a Lotus. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. Okay, first I'm gonna load up my brush. How do I hold three things? I don't know how to do this. Cause I wear glasses, so I can't just put it down. I can't see. I don't know how to do this. This is weird. I don't know what to do. I guess you just I can't see. Go like this with your shadow. And just kind of build it up. I can't even see anything, guys. Like I already wear glasses and my prescription's already really strong, so for this. Oh god, this is so weird. I don't even know. I can't do this. I thought this was gonna be a lot easier. I don't know why. The shader brush from Moda Cosmetics. We're gonna hop into the bright orange. We're doing it. We're doing it up. But just a little bit. And we're gonna tap off the excess. And I'm gonna try to put it closer to the spoon. Okay, that's cute. That's actually really cute. Look, look. Okay, well, let me zoom you in. That's actually super cute. That's super cute. I'm down, I'm down. Okay, I like this. Okay, so we're gonna copy the exact same thing on the other eye, so if you didn't catch it, real quick. We're gonna use a fluffy crease brush in the shade Lotus here to kind of start my base. And then once I have it kind of laid down and just was not naked, I'm gonna go in next with a shader brush from Moda Cosmetics. Again, bright orange crimson shade and put that as close to the spoon as possible. And then I'm gonna go back in and blend everything together with whatever is remaining on my fluffy brush and just do it. And guys, we're only doing a half crease because we're gonna use the handle of the spoon to do a wing this way. So just keep it halfway. Don't go anywhere past the arch of your eyebrow. If you're even touching that, that's a little bit too far. But that's okay because it's still a little cute. But um, yeah, don't go past your arch of your eyebrow. And boom, that was really quick. Not so easy, but quick. <laughs> Very quick for this type of look. Now comes the end, where we're gonna use the same two colors. I'm not even gonna dip into the Norvina palette. We're gonna use the same two colors, same method, same everything. Just do the exact same thing that we did in the corner here on the outer wing here. Then I wanna like, <laughs> 
I don't want to put it out like straight like that. I feel like I want to angle it up like a cat wing eyeliner. <laughs> Remove the spoon. Whew. That's a straight line. I could have sworn I put it more like this. Mm. Okay, well, I can't fix it now. It's too late. Too late. I'm just going to do it on the other eye the same way. So I'm just going to do the pink halfway onto my lid. Okay, so this eye is nice and lifted, and this one is like not. So I'm going with ColourPop's Volumizing Mascara. I'm gonna do our eyebrows. We're gonna do a regular schmegular eyebrow, okay? Nothing super duper special. I'm not gonna do much of a bold brow. I'm gonna do more of a natural brow just because this eye look is a little bit more simple and subtle. I'm not gonna like overpower. I wanna make sure my brows are like natural enough that they look done and put together, but I don't want my brows to, you know, steal a show. And we have some brows. I'm gonna do some bronzer and blush. I'm gonna be using the Wander Beauty True Refer To Blush and Bronzer Duo. Beautiful shades, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna be using the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush for my bronzer. Load up my brush. I mean, not that I really need to tap off, but it's just a habit at this point. And we're just gonna bronze the this area here. And then bronze my nose. Yes, my whole entire nose if you're new. This is not new. <laughs> And then we're gonna take our blush brush from Luxie. Go in with this blush here, just on the apples of the cheeks. I wanna look like you just told me I'm really pretty. <laughs> Woo and just kind of blend those two together quickly. And then just a little bit on my nose just in the middle so it looks like I was outside and I just look Oh, so flushed. <laughs> I'm gonna outline my lips. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Lip Liner. This is in shade In Anticipation and it is more of a barbie-ish bright pink. Um, but I'm not gonna go too heavy-handed on it. I'm gonna go in with another Alamar Cosmetics product. This is the Desnudes Gloss and this is in shade Dulce. Super pigmented, very pretty, okay? very nude and that's why i put the pinky underneath so it doesn't wash me out too much and now that the lips are on this look is pretty much complete take off my cat ears fix up my hair With all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me. It's always a good time, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.